Alright. Uh, look, this is going to be really quick. Well, I say really quick. I mean, as quick as I can possibly be. Because um, I've been uh, take a little well, take a little break. Well, yeah, I'm take a little break. It's a smoothie. Yeah. I did it a little bit early this morning. Mmm. Sometimes I like my smoothie to be thick. This is thick. Got banana in it, a couple of bananas. It's got a kiwi in it. It's got one plum. Uh, oh, I use the um, that uh, chocolate. Uh, what is that? Oat milk. Chocolate oat milk. Uh, 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 mango mango chunks. Uh, mm, mm, mm. The uh, the cucumber. Uh, I froze it. In the, I think whatever it doesn't matter. I forgot to put maple syrup in it. Ah oh, man. Maybe I should put it back in the game. No, I'm already clean out the thing. Mm. Get yeah, stuff in it. As usual. Put it over here. Look real quick. I was um I was reading the book, you know, um where do we go from here? Let me, yeah, the Martin Luther King book for ADOS conference, you know. Um and I was, you know, just reading some stuff and I uh, came across some uh thing that 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 sort of hit me and I, it brought back a thing that I had had been saying for, for a while. Uh, that but also but but then I check my check the the YouTube for a second and um you know I, and I ran across this oh, about four months ago the guy um the Glenn show the professor from wherever he's from with his other guy from um Columbia University he was talking reparations remember this is four months ago so I'm assuming they're not up to date but this guy had talked to um the other guy from Columbia had talked to uh, Sandy Darity that got in a hat here and because I was running into and looking through and looking for my plays, and so I found this hat and figured I'd put a new hat on. Anyway, that's the point. So he had talked to Sandy Darity, and they, they got hooked up on the money and the wealth gap and whatever have you. But, you know, things keep on being fluid, you know. Um, so I thought that they were... But strangely enough, then I said, I, I stopped listening to them, and I just was flipping through the thing. And um, Cornel West had this uh, talk with... Uh, what's his name? Or with, uh, with what's his name? You know, the, the uh, Reverend... Uh, um, 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 why don't I, I got his face in my, I got his face in my hand, the, the, the white guy, um, oh man, you know, uh, oh man, the progressive white guy, the really good white guy, teaches in the jails in, in, in Rahway University, Rahway, Rahway State uh, Penitentiary in New Jersey, um, ah, it, you know, anyway, he was there, the, the headline was uh, um, basically the, um, uh, the black, basically the headline is like, like, like the black intelligentsia, you know, selling out, where they fail, like that. So that's what went through my mind. That, so I go back to this thing that Martin Luther King was saying about the North and the South, some particular point, you know, the North is sort of supporting the South, you know, for the whole civil rights movement, and then there's some, some sort of even keel, but then you know, a bunch of other stuff, right? But then I thought, I had this thought for a long time, and it, was, it goes like this, how or or why, or, well, how Soul Train killed the black community. See, because back in the day, before Soul Train, what would happen is you had northern cousins, right? And in the summer, they would visit the south. And when they visit the south, they bring all those south, all those northern proclivities down to the south, teach them new dances, blah, 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 it's some, some sort of exchange. But at the same time, because they were the, of the north and you had this whole, you know, I call it the Oscar Michaud effect, because Oscar Michaud, the, the filmmaker, you know, he used to go to the south, film, he used to go to the north film and stuff, and they always put, put a cabaret number, how the northern life was great. And then, then he, he, he'd um, go through the south, go to churches and basement places, and showing the films so that people see how the northern life was and that people would have this expectation of kind of, you know, you're on the farm, you know, farm on the cotton fields, wherever you were, trying to get up to the north, you know. So anyway, so there was all these things, but the north was was giving new ideas, and, and then the south, the people who who do come up, who, they would get, they would they would they would get more stronger in their ideas. So when you did finally come up to the north, you was even more northern. I won't say I shouldn't say it that way, but you know, you was expecting to, to join the fray, that kind of thing. I can't explain it exactly, but with, with Soul Train. What happened, then everybody was, was well, started with just black people would see, you know, we'd have the same dances all of a sudden. Your, 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 your northern cousins wouldn't be teaching you new dances and vice versa, you know. You, all kinds of things, exchanges norm, that normally would happen with this visiting wouldn't happen. Plus, now the white society can see what black people are doing. So now become a more homogenous, remember, this is right after the civil rights movement, right, right as the... And then black power movement is happening, you know. Uh, so all this stuff is is is, is changing, it's changing. And, but it's, but because of TV, is changing rather quick, quickly. 
because remember back then you only had like three channels of ABC, NBC, CBS, whatever it is, you know. And um, uh, plus, I would say um, I remember on Soul Train distinctly it was very interesting. I know Don Cornelius, Don Cornelius, Afro. He was you know how they had the, the little scramble board, you know, easy to whatever, the little scramble board, you know, how, how, what, I, what you like about the song, you know, the beat, whatever it is. And but before they would ask the person's name, and somebody. I don't forget what year is this, but anyway, I asked him his name, and he, he gave him an African, you know, African sounding name. You know how we, how they, well, not we, I, I, I never changed my name. Um, uh, and he said, well, what's your real name? Like that. But the way it was done, I was going, wow, this is really interesting. Anyway, so, so there's, there's always been this, you know, uh, intelligentsia, or, you know, with, 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 uh, uh, knocking on the young people. I don't know. There's some something happening. But I think with the, with the Eidos movement, with the, with the, um, the uh, like we say, the, uh, the North American descendants of Chattel Slavery movement, things are going to be a little bit different, you know? A little bit different. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. That's a short message from me. T, from the Patterson's taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. From a reality of the A-D-O-S, that would be the North American descendants of Chattel Slavery.